This is a quick video about the uh, radius and the ulna. What's funny is sometimes people will have trouble trying to tell the radius and the ulna apart, but that usually happens when you don't take a really good look at what you got. So let's do that. Here's the radius. The way I remember the radius is that the head of the radius is round, just like uh, back in that hideous class called geometry, and you had to learn about shapes and you had to learn that the radius was the distance between the center of a circle and to the outer border of the circle. So that's the radius, that's the head of the radius. You have the neck of the radius, which of course the head is attached to the rest of the body by the neck. And then there's this thing, an enlargement located right here below the neck and head of the radius. That enlargement is known as the radial tuberosity. And then down here at the bottom, you have something called the styloid process of the radius. Now, the styloid process, if you find your thumb, like your, your thumb on your hand, you'll notice that there's a slope that runs right along the radius and right up to the base of your thumb. That little slope that you feel is actually the styloid process. Now, if you look at the ulna, U for ulna, and you can see what this is shaped like, it's shaped like a U. So U for ulna, round for radius. U for ulna, that ice cream scoop is known as the trochlear notch. This little process sticking out here is the coronoid process, and this one sticking up at the top is the lecranon. What's interesting is this little space here. I don't know if you can see that this little smoothed out area right there. Uh, that little smoothed out area that I have my thumb in, that's the radial notch. And believe it or not, that is where the head of the radius articulates with the radial notch. And it actually allows you to be able to rotate your arm or your forearm as such. If that doesn't matter to you, um, if I'm not mistaken, there was a Jet Li movie where Jet Li was using these little stick pins. He was beating the brakes out of everybody with stick pins, but then again, it's Jet Li. He was sticking these stick pins in people's arms, immobilizing people, and near the end of the movie, he's fighting these dudes at a pool table, and he sticks a pin in that guy's um, elbow, and he's actually sticking the pin at what it appears to be right in this joint, in between the head of the radius and the um, radial notch of the ulna. And guess what? The ulna, down at this end, it's got a little small piece of a bone that extends off of that, and that happens to be its styloid process. The styloid process on the ulna is a common place where uh, children have injuries. Uh, oftentimes, children fracture that little styloid process. And that's about it for the radius and the ulna. Oh, by the way, were you able to tell that both this radius and this ulna, were you able to tell which one was a left and which one was a right? Believe it or not, when I first picked up these bones earlier today, I thought that I had a left, uh, both left bones. But believe it or not, this is a left radius. But unfortunately, this is not a left ulna. This is actually right ulna. If this was going to be a left ulna, just like that's a left radius, then the head of the radius would have needed to have been able to insert to that radial notch. But unfortunately, it doesn't fit. So this is actually a right because your ulna is always on the side of your forearm with your pinky.